Hi everyone, thanks for attending the session. My name is Yann Rapaport. I'm Sixwind's product manager. Sixwind is a high performance packet processing software company. And uh, here today, I'm going to demonstrate our Sixwind virtual accelerator product, how it accelerates an OpenStack uh, environment configured to use Calico. So uh, for those of you who don't know Calico, Calico provides uh, L3 virtual networking for uh, high-scale data centers. So it's an open source project that uses uh, Linux for warding and BGP for connectivity to, from, and between VMs. Calico is an alternative to uh, L2 virtual switching uh, with, uh, with OVS or Linux Bridge. It's just a different approach. Uh, it doesn't use overlays. Um, and Calico is integrated with OpenStack. In the demo, we will show uh, how Sixwind Virtual Accelerator accelerates the hypervisor performance. Uh, it's easy to install in OpenStack environment. It's transparent to the environment. There is no change required to the OpenStack environment or to, or to Calico configuration. And uh, uh, we will see, of course, the performance boost uh, brought by, uh, by Virtual Accelerator. So we will have a demonstration in two parts. We have a system with two compute nodes. These compute nodes are running on uh, Intel uh, E5 2690v3 uh, CPUs at 2.6 gigahertz. So it's a 12 core, 24 thread CPU. Uh, we have the OpenStack uh, Mitaka environment configured. And we have one virtual machine running on top of each compute node. The compute nodes are connected using 40 gig NICs. And we will, uh, of course, Calico is configured in the environment. So to provide L3 connectivity between the VMs. And we will uh, measure the performance of this environment. So the first test we will do is an IP throughput test using iPerf, so between one VM and the other. And then we will uh, do another one. We will evaluate HTTP request rate uh, using an Nginx server and Apache Bench. So that will be a first step in a standard Linux environment to have a reference. And then in the same system, we will very easily, as you will see, install Virtual Accelerator and then do the same test. So there is no change to the Calico configuration. There is no change to the environment. We run iPerf again. We run Nginx and Apache Bench again. And we see the results. So let's get started uh, with the demo. So we have, we look at one compute node here. We see Calico is installed. Calico uses Bird as the control plane for routing. We see also that uh, OpenStack Mitaka is installed in the system. So uh, we're going to configure the, the system. So we create networks for the virtual machines. Uh, we will have two networks. Uh, on each compute node, we have one network for each virtual machine. And we start the workload. So we use Nova Boot to boot uh, the two VMs. The VMs uh, are started. The environment is configured. And you can see that uh, on the compute node, IP routing is used, and also IP set, so ACLs. Uh, to, to configure the connectivity. So it's pure L3 environment for the connectivity uh, between, the, between our two VMs. So we have this running now. You see, uh, so on the top right, VM1. On the bottom, uh, on the bottom right, VM2. Uh, the, two v the two VMs have started. And we are going to benchmark the performance between these VMs. We run Hyperf server on VM2, Hyperf client on VM1, and we check the performance. So here, standard Linux, there is no acceleration. The IP throughput between the two VMs is a 14 gigabit per second. It's using all the Linux cores in the compute nodes. There is no specific uh, configuration of the, of the Linux CPUs. And so we see this first result. Second step uh, of our first, uh, first part, we will do a HTTP request benchmark. So we start Nginx on VM2. We start it. And uh, we are going to start Apache Bench, a benchmark tool, a well-known benchmark tool, to check the HTTP request performance. And so we see with Apache Bench that we obtain uh, almost 19K requests per second. So again, standard configuration. This is just Linux running. And uh, we have uh, this performance. So 14 gigabit per second of throughput and 18K HTTP requests per second. So now we are ready to go to the second part of our demo. So we clean up a bit the environment. We stop the VMs. And we are going to install uh, Virtual Accelerator. So Virtual Accelerator, it's a, 
Linux application, it comes, a, it comes as a package that you install into your, your environment, so depending on your distribution. Uh, so here we are installing the credentials, we're installing the Sixwind uh, repository so that we can just use Yum. We update Yum cache and we will use Yum to install virtual accelerator in the system. So that's in progress, you can see uh, the cache is being updated and, uh, and virtual accelerator will be installed on Compute 1 and Compute 2. That's, uh, that's happen happening at the moment. Then Virtual Acceler Accelerator is a standard ser service in your Linux environment, so we enable it. We restart libvirt, we restart OpenStack Compute to take the presence of Virtual Accelerator into account. There is no change to the configuration of the system, no change to the IP configuration of Calico. This is not required. Uh, we, you can see, so I, yeah, I'm not sure you can see it, uh, but uh, I, I can tell you, so Virtual Accelerator is started by default on one core. Uh, one core per NUMA node, and uh, it, it pulls the, the NICs that are, that are connected to this NUMA node. That's the default configuration. This can be changed, but in this test, we, we, we will use just one core, one core to threads. So virtual accelerator is started. One last step is to install six Winds OpenStack extensions, uh, just to make sure that uh, Nova is not going to use uh, our data plane CPUs. Uh, we use dedicated CPUs to guarantee the performance, to have predictable performance, and we don't want Nova to schedule uh, workloads on these CPUs, so we have, uh, we have an OpenStack extension for this. So uh, the system is now ready, uh, so no change to en the environment, no change to Calico. We are going to run exactly the, the test we, we ran before. So uh, uh, we, we have to, to start our VMs. We start VM1, we start VM2. The VMs use uh, huge pages to benefit from a six win high performance uh, uh, VNIC backend. And in the VM, it's a standard vertio, so there is no change to the VM itself. And now you can see iperf is being started. So on VM2, iperf server. On VM1, iperf client. So it's exactly the same, uh, exactly the same test as before. And we check the performance. So now we have 23 gigabit per second. So that's two times Linux throughput, again using just one core of virtual accelerator, whereas before all the cores of Linux were used for your uh, virtual networking. Here just one core uh, allows to get two times the throughput. And we can move on with the HTTP benchmark test. We start Nginx uh, on VM2. We start uh, Apache Bench on VM1. And uh, so compared to 18K requests per second, now we see uh, 61K requests per second. So that's three times the rate, again, with one core used for, the, for your virtual networking part. So that's, uh, that's uh, uh, the, the, the end of this uh, basic demo. So uh, as a summary of what we have seen, uh, we have demonstrated in OpenStack environment, OpenStack Mitaka, configured to use Calico, L3 networking, for the connectivity, the connectivity between your VMs. And we have used Virtual Accelerator to accelerate the hypervisor performance. We have compared standard Linux versus uh, uh, Linux running Virtual Accelerator. With Virtual Accelerator on one core versus Linux running on all cores, we see two times the throughput performance for the VM to VM communication. And we, three, we see three times the HTTP re request rate. We have also uh, demonstrated how easy to, it is to install virtual accelerator in your environment using your standard package manager. Uh, if you use Fuel for your OpenStack deployments or Juju, we also support the Fuel plugin and the Juju charm for virtual accelerator. So we are really transparent to the environment. And as you have seen, there is also no change to the Calico configuration. That's it for my demo today. Thanks for listening to, to the session.